Welcome back to Gruber Motor Company and another one of our video segments. What if I told you there's a vehicle that can last 1 million miles before you have to think about replacing it? To give you some perspective, 1 million miles is enough distance to drive around the entire planet almost 40 times. It's enough distance to drive to the moon and back four times. And 1 million miles is the estimate for how long new generations of Teslas are expected to last on the original battery and original drivetrain. You're probably thinking something along the lines of, yeah, sure, or prove it. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this video. We spoke with Martin Eberhardt, one of the early EV battery technology engineers and original founder of Tesla, to get his input on just where the future of battery tech and electric vehicles are headed. We'll get to what he had to say in a minute, but for now, let's take a look at some of the hurdles involved in reaching that 1 million mile mark. The problems with driving any vehicle to 1 million miles are pretty simple. The engine, or in the case of an EV, the battery pack will eventually give out. And the drive motor providing propulsion will eventually give out as well. If we can solve these problems, the rest of the repairs along the way will be cosmetic and pretty easily manageable. Let's start with the Tesla drive motors. Tesla has two types of drive motors in the newer Model 3s and Model Ys, depending on which package you select. The rear wheel drive only option comes with the new permanent magnet drive motor in the rear. The standard all wheel drive option has the permanent magnet drive motor in the rear and the AC induction drive motor in the front. And then there's the performance all wheel drive, which is the same as the standard with the permanent magnet drive motor in the rear and the induction drive motor in the front, but both come with considerably more power with this option. As pointed out by fellow YouTubers Sandy Munro and Weber Auto, there are also both aluminum and copper cores for the induction motors, which adds even more options for the drive motor configurations of the Model 3s and Model Ys. All that being said, after thorough testing and mathematical estimates, Tesla expects all of these different drive motor configurations to last up to 1 million miles before needing replacement. Elon Musk is quoted on Twitter in early 2019 saying, Model 3 drive units and body is designed like a commercial truck for a million mile life. Current battery modules should last 300,000 to 500,000 miles or 1,500 cycles, replacing modules not the pack, will only cost $5,000 to $7,000. If what he says is true, the drive units and body must be pretty durable and well designed. Now it may sound like Elon is contradicting the 1 million mile battery in that statement, so let's look at lithium ion a little deeper and get into some statistics. A problem unique to Teslas and other electric vehicles is the battery. We all know EVs are powered by high-tech lithium-ion battery packs ranging anywhere from 40 kWh all the way to 200 kWh. That's a fancy way of saying they have a lot of juice and some EVs like the Lucid Air Dream Edition are now able to get over 500 miles range on a single charge. We also know lithium-ion has become the standard for all types of electronics, from laptops, toothbrushes, and scooters to hoverboards and everything in between. But there are a few problems with the idea of a 1 million mile lithium ion battery. Martin Eberhardt told us that he and J.B. Strobel and other early Tesla pioneers had originally expected the battery life for the first Tesla vehicle, the Roadster, to be about 10 years. Based on their simple math of how many charge cycles combined with the average mileage driven per year, they were able to give that estimate. Although he did say they were optimistic that the battery might last beyond that, and he's not surprised that some of them are still running strong 14 years later. Mr. Eberhardt said originally, the battery packs were designed and expected to last somewhere between 600 and 700 charge cycles, and they had an average range of 240 miles if maintained properly. If we assume conservative 600 charge cycles account for the battery degradation over the years and take just the simplest mathematical approach, it looks something like this. 
600 charge cycles times 195 mile average range equals 117,000 miles. Divided by 11,631, which is the average miles driven per year, circa 2008, equals 10 years estimated lifespan. So if the 117,000 miles was the limit for the earliest generation of Teslas, why are roadsters still going strong? And more importantly, what does this mean for the new generation and the million mile Teslas yet to come? There are two things that really determine the life of a battery in a Tesla and any lithium ion product. How long the battery remains at near full charge, 85% to 87% or more, and lifetime average temperatures, how long at high and low temperatures. As Mr. Eberhardt explained it to us, lithium ion batteries do not like to stay at full charge, nor do they enjoy being completely and utterly depleted. He also said, what is happening in the battery is a chemical reaction, and as science dictates, the hotter the reaction, the quicker it goes. In essence, heat is a bad thing for batteries. Mr. Eberhardt told us of a conversation he had with Jeff Hawkins, one of the inventors and founders of the Palm Pilot, which was an early consumer electronic application for lithium ion batteries. This can shed some light as to why some of these cars are still running strong after 14 years and how it informs us on the maintenance and battery life extension methods to get us to the 1 million mile mark. Mr. Hawkins told him they did experiments to test the theories on how to extend battery life for lithium ion cells. He said they adjusted the charging method and amounts, meaning they did a bunch of tests other than full complete charge and complete discharge, and notated the results. What they found during these experiments was that keeping the battery above 20% and below 85 to 87% significantly increased the life of the lithium ion cells and thus created the new standard for how to properly maintain these lithium ion battery packs. Now if we combine that life extension information with the news from Cyber Rodeo a few weeks ago that Tesla is now implementing use of the 4680 battery cells, we start getting into some interesting territory. Dr. Jeff Don, a battery researcher and professor working with Tesla, made some serious claims about the new 4680 cells, which will be used in Tesla vehicles starting with Model Y going forward. He said the cells are capable of up to 15,000 charge cycles and still retain up to 90% of their capacity. With an average tested range of around 217 miles, this means they are technically capable of lasting over 3.2 million miles. Dr. Don goes on to say that after three years of testing in over 15,000 cycles, many of the batteries were still being tested and were showing no signs of failure. This is truly remarkable and could change the way we view lithium ions capabilities entirely. What do you think about the future of electric vehicles? Do you think a Tesla can or should be able to drive over 1 million miles? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like this video and want to show your support, make sure to check us out on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time.